All right, time for another math easy solution. Here we discuss uh, the simplified filter criteria. This is another video on soil mechanics. Um, yeah, and then we'll uh, look at actually a, a little a simple dam filter example. I'll explain what this is through um, well through an example through a dam. Say we have the core of a dam. This could be we'll call this um, yeah this is a dam. And this could be made th made of earthen material, concrete, or basically yeah, so we'll call it earth material, soil, or sand, uh, gravel, and whatnot. So basically, yeah, if you have the this is your one side where you're holding the water, whatever. So if we want to protect this from erosion and we want to control what kind of sediment hits this that that water carries, well, we'll we'll get a filter. So basically a filter is just a layer of um, a specified material to control what it is. We'll have a filter here as well. These will be different uh, depending on what the project entails and costs and whatnot. Yeah, so these are basically, uh, this is this is a filter. So basically with the filter we want to control what, yeah, control, yeah. Control what goes through. Goes through to the core. And this we'll call it, yeah, core. To the core material. And also, it's, to, yeah, as we control it, and this is to control to prevent erosion. Prevent erosion of the core and this is yeah this is basically the f what the filter uh, would do so basically if we if we were to have well actually another thing is it dissipates uh, dissipates pore pressure I'll explain what pore pressure in more detail in another video but um, I'll show you what I'll look at a uh, if we were to zoom in, in this case, in the interface, we'll have, let's say we zoom in, this is the interface, just an arbitrary line like that. Uh, we'll zoom in, let's say the material looks like this and whatnot. Okay, this is this side, and then this is the, the filters here. This is the core, core side. So then uh, we'll have something like this. That's it's going to be different sizes to fit in the holes to prevent uh, certain st certain stuff to get in. So basically, what this does, yeah. So basically, you have the this is the water, and it also has small s fines and, and whatnot. These are fines or sediment. Uh, yeah, sediment transported through with water. Transported uh, um, through water, and we want to prevent certain ones to go in. So we'll have like a based on the filter, we'll have a specific size that can't go in here that will get stuck. So then the water dissipates here. Basically, pore pressure the pressure in here gets dissipated because we'll have this filter. It will basically get hit by it, and then this will feel less of the pressure. And then this will have less material going in through here. And then, yeah, this will prevent erosion from there. So basically, yeah, this is like a layer layer of protection. Yeah, layer of protection against um, basically water forces. Against, uh, yeah, the water hitting, hitting the dam. Hitting or transporting sediment, which will erode after constantly hitting it. Transporting, yeah, sediment. Hitting, yeah, hitting the dam, yeah, or transporting to the dam. Yeah. So now we'll look at this simplified criteria. So basically, this is, um, so if we were to look at this simplified. Uh, filter criteria.
Okay, yeah, so basically this is an imperial, um, yeah, so this one is imperial. Meaning, uh, and it's also yeah, imperial or experimental data. Yeah, it's experimental data. This is, uh, this is after years of engineering, um, of in soil mechanics, they, um, basically these, this criteria is a very simple one that soil mechanic engineers and civil engineers, geotech engineers will decide it one. This is yeah, some people use it. This is a, a quick way of, of deciding a quick filter we'll need. So basically, um, uh, if yeah, so basically, let's look at that example again. Let's the core example. Let's say we have a gradation curve for the core material. Okay, so let, let's just paste this in here. Yeah, so basically, yeah, this is um, a gradation curve. I'll explain what a gradation curve is in another video. So yeah, this is basically the core material gradation curve. This is the average, and this is the the fine side of the core material and uh, basically uh, if you were to have if you were to take a bunch of tests from the core and then the finest the finest let's say the finest test would be this this curve and then the average would be this out of all the tests you take and basically this is yeah this is a gradation curve I'll just right here I'll explain another video in depth gradation curve yes yeah, and it's on the log log scales this is um this is log scale I'll explain another another video as well. What log scales is helpful in in graphing graphing equations that are spread through a large um, yeah large x axis like this, it's just so it's easier to see the pattern. I'll explain further. In a gradation curve, yeah, this is basically um, yeah th this is percent. Let's say this is the percent finer size, and this is uh this is particle size. If and this is would be roughly roughly diameter yeah diameter of let's say a particle yeah so this would be let's say the particles and whatever this would be d or particle size so basically what this is saying a uh, hundred percent this is these are in percentage so a hundred percent this means a hundred percent finer than this size right here this would be let's say one two three four so a hundred percent is finer than um, five millimeters, and then f here fifty percent. If we go here, this is basically yeah. So this is saying fifty percent is finer than point one. So fifty percent is smaller than this size, and fifty percent is bigger. So that's basically um, a yeah. That's basically the uh, gradation uh, curve works. I'll explain further in another video. But um, so now if we were to look at the simplified criteria, we would basically look at this gradation curve that we're given, but we, and it depends on the case, uh, the engineering case, so this doesn't go here, we'll extrapolate something like this. We'll just extrapolate how the curve would look like that, and this could go like this. And uh, this one, we'll just assume that the fine one on this side, it depends on the, on the case you do again, but we'll just assume uh, assume that the average is more indicative. Average is yeah. More indicative. Uh, yeah, of the core material. So we will design the filter based on this curve. So yeah, so we'll design it based on that. Based on average curve. Again, this is based on the engineering judgment you have. It might be different for a different case. But yes, uh, so we'll just use it on this side. And uh, now the simplified criteria, what it says, it has, there's three basic criteria. Yeah, so basically, uh, if we go back to this uh, simplified one, we'll have uh, piping criteria. So piping. And uh, yeah, piping is basically, yeah, th this one is basically if you have, let's say, uh, sand here and whatnot, whatnot, this is sand. And then water's flowing here, but then it forces, yeah, so basically you have, it, it forces one 
let's say channel of, of sand or whatever to float here so you're basically piping here you're creating a pipe of moving sediment here based on the water and then this this uh, causes lots of problems causes lots of problems and whatnot and yeah you lose strength base basically this this piping so you create a pipe so that's basically what piping is because you create a pipe there and it basically have water flowing across this soil layer and creating a pipe of moving sediment so that's basically what piping is and so basically uh, the first criterion in the filter is um, D15 less than 5 times D85B so D15F this is filter this is base uh, in this case our core in this case our core or average or average core curve it's called average and basically what this is saying is that the filter size uh, this is 15 percent passing this is percent passing is less than five times the 85 percent passing of the base the the particle size so uh, then if we were to look at yeah so if we were to look at here so d15 so this is 15 so basically if we were to look yeah that's d15 f so let's look at d85 and d85 is right here this is 85 and then basically we would go all the way across we would just draw let's say a rough line like this and then we could see here this is basically d85 all the way to here and this is roughly two three we'll just call this three so this is this is d85 so then if we put three in there we'll just get five times three this equals 15 millimeters so now we know D15F, this is, if we go here, it's greater than, it's less than, this is a less than sign of 15. This is 10, this is 20, so then 15 would be right here. I'll just move this. Okay, yeah, so basically, yeah, if you were to go here, to this would be 15. And then, the, yeah, this is basically uh, yeah, D15. F and then so it's less than so we'll just draw an arrow here so it's less than that and so now the second criteria is uh, permeability permeability uh, criterion so basically permeability is, is how easily the water goes through uh, yeah how easily the water is accessible like it goes through the soil so basically if you have this, so this is just the water flow. How permeable? That's water flow. The greater the water flow, the equals yeah greater uh, permeability. And this this is basically to make sure that the water doesn't get stuck in here, and this creates a lot of force in there. Wa your water pressure gets increased. So this is the criteria that's experimentally been shown. And so basically, this uh, this would be again D15F filter is greater than five times D15B. So and then if we were to look here, we extrapolated here. It's roughly there. It could be otherwise different. But uh, so anyways, we'll look at here. So this would go roughly there, and this would be this would be roughly we'll call this point zero two five millimeters and this is yeah this is d fifteen b so if we go there and then this would equal five times point zero two five and this would just equal to and this would just equal to point one two five millimeters yeah so basically yeah so that's what it is um so that's Roughly here, if you go to the D15, this would go point. This is point two here. 
and it's 0.125, so we'll just go roughly here. So it's greater than that. So this is a D15F, D15F. So it's greater than this, less than that. So now if we were to look at, yeah, now if we were to look at gradation, So yeah, uh, now gradation control. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is basically gradation. If you were to look at this is, let's say this is um, not well graded. It's basically on the particle sides if they're distributed evenly. Then and if you have something like this, yes, yeah, so if you have these kind of all these materials together, this would be. So yeah, this is well sorted, or well graded. And this is uh, not well graded. So that, that's basically a quick uh, view of that. And this is to make sure that you have control of the gradation. Uh, and this is another experimental data. So this would be D15F less than 25 times D50B. So yeah, these are the three criteria. So D50B. So if we look at what is D50B, uh, this D50, we'll go here again. This is roughly, this is 50%, this is roughly 0.3. We call it 0.3. So that's D50 is 0.3, so we'll go equals 25 times 0.3. Yeah, and this would just, if you put in a calculator, this is just 7.5 millimeters. So now we have, this is our simplified criteria. And this is 7.5. So D50F is less than 7.5. This is, this was 987 on this log scale. So roughly, if this is 987, this would be roughly here. And it's less than, so we go like this. So basically it's less than this, so you gotta match this material. And then you would, for this, for a quick, a uh, sketch of how the filter w material would look like you would need to roughly draw parallel to this one so just roughly draw d similar to that so you would do this this is this is something like that and then this side here you would connect this one so just roughly similar to that other material yeah so this is basically our filter so this is our filter so this is a quick, easy way of drawing a filter, and, and, and it ranges between these two sides. This is the uh, coarse range, and this is the fine range of it. So if you were to get a filter material, you would make sure that it, it, it lies inside this curve. So now, and also what you could also do if you want to do a second filter, if you were to grab, this is to say the average, this is average. Yeah, this is average of the filter. You could actually uh, do another filter by doing the same thing. So using this simplified filter criteria, and then if you were to do the same thing, you would have something like this. You would have something like this. And then, yeah, it would go like that. So you'll have something like that. It will look similar to this, but it's going to be down here. So this could be a second filter. You do the same thing, but use the average of that. Yeah, so I'll just write uh, write that down. Yeah, so you could uh, can create second filter for the filter. Uh, uh yeah, based on yeah, b based on the average. of the filter of the first fil filter yeah so you would do that and using uh, again using simplified method simplified oh so you simplify criteria yes yeah, so yeah this is I don't know what that is but anyways yeah so you could just use it that and then if you were to look Here's just how it, it would look like if you were, this is to say your core, we'll call this um, the core. 
So as you keep using the create a filter of the filter, you would have this would be the first filter, something like this. And then this is the first one. This could be your fine filter or first because it, it, it's smaller. And then the, the other one's going to be more coarse. So this could be more protection against the water. Yeah, so basically you have layers of filters. This would be your second or coarse filter. Well, this is a quick, easy way out of using the simplified method. We'll hopefully learn some uh, soil mechanics and you know, just a quick filter design is a little messy, but you just get the idea if you follow through. So this is basically experimental data over the many years that soil soil engineers have have uh, decided this is be a quick way. This isn't necessarily what you would go with the design, but this is a general a general idea of what filter you would need. And there's other other uh, more detailed descriptions of filters and more yeah, detailed uh, criteria. So this basically this is, uh, you could draw this or the second one will be bigger. So yeah, it depends on, uh, again, on the project you're on. Well, hopefully you learned something about uh, the simplified filter criteria and you learned today. So, uh, well, stay tuned for another math easy solution.